Hi guys, this is officially my first ever video. Some of you guys may already know me from Instagram called Renovating She Knew. I've been documenting and sharing our reno journey. For those that don't know, we are currently renovating an ex-council property here in London. We've been pretty much doing it ourselves and I thought I'd branch out to YouTube. Before I get into the video, I will be posting more DIY content and more of our reno journey on this channel. So like and subscribe if you definitely want to see more. We got our flooring done about a few weeks ago i haven't really been able to share much of it because we had to quickly cover it up in order to do all the painting but here it is in its full glory this is the luxury vinyl tiles also known as lvt from polyfloor called camaro cambridge i will link it in the description let me start to tell you guys about it all. We put it down all ourselves, which normally isn't recommended. You should really get a professional in to do it. We've never done anything like this before. You know, we thought we'd give it a go. And honestly, it wasn't that bad at all. Once we got to the swing of things, it was smooth sailing. We still have our kitchen space to do. If you guys are interested, just let me know. I can do like a quick how to put luxury vinyl tiles from start to finish. The only reason I didn't do it this time is because as you can imagine, it's our first time, it was very stressful. The last thing I was doing was picking up my camera. In this video, you would notice there's a lot of like random <laughs> footage here and there. Definitely been a roller coaster journey of emotions, getting the swing of things. And that's exactly what I wanted to share with you guys today, especially for those who are thinking of getting similar floorings to ourselves or who are thinking of putting down their own luxury vinyl tiles. But let me take you back, back. <laughs> so before you put down flooring in general especially if it's luxury vinyl tiles because they are quite thin actually let me see if i can grab some to show you guys so yeah this is what they look like so they are very thin as you can see is it focused okay it's out of focus you do want to make sure your sub flooring is nice and level we knew our original flooring wasn't level but we didn't realize to what degree until we started sanding down the flooring. The plan was for us to sand down the original floorboards, put plywood on top, and then stick on the LVT tiles on top of that. But then we quickly realized, well, Jules, our friend, the carpenter, we got him to come in because we did want a professional to step in at that point. You know, obviously you want to make sure that a self-leveling compound applied well. He came in, he sanded the flooring and he'd realized that, you know, it's probably best we don't do it that way. He suggested that we remove the original floorboards, which obviously was very distressing. <laughs> because that would then mean more dust, more mess, and it just felt like we were going backwards rather than moving forward. It was, it was quite emotional. We removed the original floorboards and we found bruise blocks. It's basically what they used to use back in the day for properties. It's not normally used now. It was very dusty, it was very crumbly. We made up buckets and buckets of water and mixed in a little bit of concrete in it and then we brushed it onto the breeze blocks to kind of settle it and we left it that way for about a couple of days. And then after we came back, we've come back to the flat a couple of days after and I wanna show you guys how it's dried. You can see it much clearer. Like all the dips and stuff that needs to be filled out. Overall, it's dried quite nicely. Today, the plan is that we finish off the bit in the dining room, which we've got left, and the hallway. Leave that to dry and then come back next week to pull self-leveling all over the flooring. Last time we were here, we hoovered this all up. Rob's now going to pour some cement on top. And I don't know if I've explained before, but the reason we're putting cement is um, because the original flooring is in really, really bad condition and it's quite crumbly. But we're putting cement to seal that and to prevent it from crumbling in the future. I've got to hoover up the hallway and then we'll finish off for the day. And literally as we're pouring, we're gonna exit. <laughs> so there's no coming back until it's all dry in a couple of days. just so I can show you guys what I mean. These are some spare chipboards that we have upstairs. The idea is that the chipboard 
go on top of the original floor. Then we'll put plywood boards on top to then be able to install the luxury vinyl tiles. But at the moment, we're trying to figure out what's the best way of doing this. cement um, from the dining room to the hallway we kind of need to make sure we don't leave anything behind because obviously we will be everything else will be trapped you don't need anything do you no we'll probably need to turn off the light switch as well because we can't come back to that and all the windows are closed That's what it's meant to look like dry. We're getting trapped in. <laughs> so we're just making sure we've collected everything before we leave. I've got my phone. Rob, you said you've got our keys, isn't it? Yeah. We've just got a bit more to do. And then we'll be on our way out. So this is the hallway all done now. Now we're gonna leave come back in a couple of days for it to be nice and dry. Ciao. I've come downstairs to show you guys what's been done so far. All the big dips have been filled with sand and cement. It's all nice and dry now. I'm gonna spend about 10, 15 minutes sweeping it all up. have arrived the perks of living in a flat you have to bring them up quite a few flats of stairs just making some space for it to go in it comes with like a layer which is really good to soundproof and then it comes with this which is easily peelable so about 28 of these should cover the whole ground floor and then this is the plywood that's going to go on top What's good of these chipboards, it's the soundproof insulation that, that it comes with. So hopefully this should help with noise reduction. The best way to put these down is with adhesive. To catch you guys up on what's going on right now. Originally we were going to put down PVA and then um, with a bit of research we realised that PVA probably isn't a good idea. Jules went on a bit of a hunt <laughs> and managed to pick up some... What's this one called? Ugh. Um, uh, primer. Primer. I've just diluted it one to one. Perfect. Um, we've got. We've definitely got enough to. to yeah. Uh, just being quite liberal with it. Hard to find. You heard it here first, guys. Make sure you get acrylic primer yeah. uh, <laughs> before Brilliant. you put down self leveling. It's more expensive than PVA, but at least. You know, yeah, you get so it done properly. <laughs> We're not pros here, by the way, guys. Yeah, quick disclaimer. Yeah. <laughs> kind of just winging it. <laughs> I'll put you guys on a quick time lapse. Hey guys, don't mind my hair. Looks like a bit of a mess. It's another day. Come back to the flat. We've put down the first layer of self-leveling compounds. Like in this area here, because now yeah. we to start drying. Yeah. Oh, no lumps. It's a bit better, isn't it? Yeah. We've let it dry for about a couple of hours now. So we're about to start on the second layer. Jules has already made the mix up, which is quite nice. It's dried quite nicely, hasn't it? Yeah. Have you put, have you put a leveler yet? No. Do you I want don't. to have a look? I, I, I don't want to know how bad it is, man. Really? 
Hello. Come on, be optimistic. Where's your optimism you know gun? Do you want me to... All right, then. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow, that is pretty level, mate. No, I can't see. <laughs> yeah, no. can't that see is cool. That. The, reason, the reason why I'm really excited is because... Hey, Rob, you, I don't think I showed you man? guys how yeah, unlevel yeah, it was last cool, time. Bro. Yeah, not too bad, man. Just, um, just a little setup. Yeah, just to quickly catch you guys on what we've been up to today. Second layer of the self leveling is currently going down, and we reckon this is going to be the last. Sorry, I had my mask on there. And we reckon this is going to be the last layer. It's Jules applying it very smoothly. Trying to. <laughs> Trying to. We'll get in there. Hi everyone, welcome back to the vlog. There's a lot I have to catch you guys up on actually. A few days have gone past. I think last where I left off, we were putting the second coat of self-leveling compounds. And I've been at work, so I haven't really been able to vlog as much, but Jules is at the flat at the moment, just in the car, about to go into Wix. I'm trying to look for some tiles to put down for our fireplace. So I'm gonna see if I can pick up um, anything here at Wix. I thought I'd turn the vlogging camera on, bring you guys to the flat and share a little update with you guys and um, with how it's all going. So I'm at Wix, um, looking for some tiles. I'm really nervous to vlog. So if you see me getting really quiet, it's because someone's watching me and I'm really shy. Oh, they have some really nice tiles here actually. These are quite nice. I think I prefer this green to the green I picked up from being q They've got these ones as well, which are quite nice. They're like little textured ones, which I like. Maybe if I can mix up two colours, white and beige. They have a nice little grey one as well and one with a blue tint. Loads of decisions. Oh, these ones are quite nice as well, actually. Do I go for this one or do I go for that one? Okay, I think I'm gonna go for these ones. The ones with the um, the green pattern. They also have the black and white option, but I do I do kind of prefer this one. I'm gonna buy a sample and show Rob as well. Oh, it doesn't look like they have any more. People are watching me, so I'm gonna turn the camera off. I'm gonna go on a hunt and look for green ones and buy, buy a sample and bring it over to the flat and see what would look good. Um, and then kind of <laughs> ask for Rob's opinion as well and just take it from there. So I've come back from Wix and these are the tiles I went for. I wanted to put them down but unfortunately I can't at the moment because the expanding foam is drying so I need to wait for that to dry. And I might do a little poll on Instagram on what tiles you guys think we should go for. I kind of missed a bit where Jules put down the chipboard, but I want to show you guys what it looks like so far. It looks really good. Film has been removed, so that's why we've got this like glossy finish. But you can already feel and hear the difference. It looks really good. Quick little video of the flooring so far. You can see Jules already cleaning up the expanding foam. But yeah. Feels good guys, feels good. Hi everyone, so um, today is Saturday. Um, what's the time? Five past four. Five past four, right, yeah. So already like a few hours behind schedule. Here with Rob and his dad, and we're going to start putting the flooring down. So I'll show you what we've got so far. They've all been laid out. I was here on Tuesday and I haven't been there since. So. What I've done here, I kind of wanted to see what it looked like. I put it on dry, but it looks great. Picked up these two adhesives from Screwfix. So hopefully this should be enough. Um, apparently one, one bucket covers 18 meters squared square flooring. So hopefully these two will be enough. Um, if not, then we could always buy some another day. We've started sticking it down. You have to be so careful, so precise. You 
you don't want to get it wrong. <laughs> I'll share with you guys some more of an update of what's going on. At the moment, oh, if it focuses, we're just saying that it's so therapeutic when it clicks perfectly in place. Even Michael, I put down the adhesive Please. screed adhesive. Wait a couple of minutes till it gets tacky, and then whoever has best knees. best the best knees, <laughs> we take it in turns. Goes ahead and puts down the tiles. And it's looking so good, guys. The reason we've left these edges is because we want the rest to dry. So we're going to give it about 24 to 48 hours and then come back to do the edges because that would involve cutting, etc. We finally got there in the end. It, took, it definitely took a while. And then after we got some food in us, we powered through it. Haven't we, lads? Yes. <laughs> <There you go>. <laughs> <laughs> Still a lot more to do. We're gonna try and come tomorrow as well and do as much as we can and take it from there. I'm gonna end this vlog here and I'll probably pick up the camera again tomorrow and show you more of the dining room and hallway progress. Good night. So we're back, it's Sunday, fresh faced. So yesterday was a bit of a tricky one. Um, we spent hours faffing about and really trying to figure out a routine but we got there in the end so I thought I would kind of explain what we did to lay the floors down. We measured out the width of the living room space and then we pinpointed the middle and we drew a line all the way down with a leveler so you need to make sure it's a straight line. We placed the edges of the tiles onto the line we drew out you want to make sure it's nice and straight and following a pattern the whole entire time. So this is what we got up to yesterday. And then this is all we've got left to do. I don't find any knee pads, so we're using sheets and towels to uh, for our knees. Bless them. Yeah. <laughs> we need knee pads for this. We learned the hard way yesterday. I also have some water and some cloth because when you're <laughs> when you're putting down the tiles you want to make sure that there's no excess of adhesive so you want to do your best to kind of wipe off the let me am I focused? You want to do your best to wipe off the adhesive while you're putting down the, the tiles. We're coming towards the end of the bucket so we're just pouring it. But this is the flooring now in real time. Wow. 
I love how it's turned out. That's it for the video guys. I am logging off. Thank you so much for tuning in. And like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will be posting more videos here. We've just lime washed our dining room wall. We're going to lime wash the bedroom upstairs in a much darker colour. So I do definitely want to do a how-to video now that I've gained a bit of confidence from doing it downstairs. That will be definitely coming next. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye.